Okay, hi YouTube. This is a video on how to trick your ovulation. So, I put this tangerine head bell, I mean the tangerine bell head radar mill with this female paddling stripe head radar. And I put them in three times with her. So the first time is, the first time I put them in with her was December 14th. And the second time was December 16th, and I'm like, man, she's still not ovulating. So I put them in again on the 19th for the whole day for like 24 hours, probably a little bit over 24 hours. And then the next day I checked, checked her for ovulation. I seen this, and I'm just hoping that this ovulation, if this is not ovulation, somebody please tell me. So that right there. Oh, man, right there. I hope you can see it. So, yeah. And she's proven, but he is not. I just hope that he's going to breed with her. And, but I'm not going to breed him yet because I don't have my rack. And I want to have a rack set up before I start breeding any geckos. Because I want them to all not be like cluttered with other geckos and stuff. So, this is not the tank for them. I'm going to weld their tubs. This is just a six quart just so I can make the video. And I have my other female in the tank, up in a tub, up in a bigger tub, a 15 quart, with which is she's house with. So, yeah. And then I'm gonna show you one of her babies that she produced with a um, Bell Tangerine Head Radar, but it wasn't him. The dude that I bought her from had another Bell Tangerine Head Radar, and I was gonna buy the pair. The pair of um, bells and the baby radar right there for like $200. And I was like, man, why shouldn't I do it? And then I just bought them all like separately. And he just kept coming back. And like every time he had something else that he wanted to sell. And like he had just let me know. So, yeah. So that's the one right there. And I don't know why she's going crazy. She's just going crazy in there. Yeah. Like, man, what's going on? I think she wants to try to eat the baby. I hope not. So, anyway, oh, yeah, and this is a male. I bought it when it was nine grams from the guy. And then the first day I got him, it just ate right away. Also, she did, too. Like, she cleaned the dish. Um. So, yeah, that's how you trigger ovulation. Like, you just leave them in the tank with her. But you don't want a male that's too, like, breeding aggressive because... Um, if he keep trying to breed with her and she doesn't want to breed at the moment or whatever, then she, like, they'll probably end up fighting. And, like, he didn't try to breed with her, but, like, I just left him in a tank and I guess she caught a scent and then she started to ovulate. So, I, and I think that you can switch their tanks, like, put him in her tank and her into his tank. And I think that the same thing could still happen if you did it that way. Because um, some guy up on YouTube, I was watching one of his videos. I think his name was Garcia Geckos. And I think he that's what he did. But I did it a different way. I just put him in the same enclosure for a day. And the next day I checked after I got out of school. Well, I didn't have school today. I had detention because, uh, oh, my God, I had detention. So I had to go to school today on Friday. And I'm on winter break. So I had to go to school at 7.30 and I got out at 10.30 because I have three hours detention. So when I came back, I seen that she was ovulating and I'm going to put her, put her back in her tank and put him back in his tank. But the day before I go to the expo, I'll put him up in her tank for the rest of the day and let him breed. I hope that, he, I hope that he'll try to breed with her at least. And these geckos are healthy. Please don't try to tell me that my geckos are skinny because they are not skinny. I hope that they don't look skinny on camera. Even like I'm seeing them like in person, so I guess that's having an effect on me. But like on camera, the people say that they look skinny. Like my friend said that one of them looked skinny, but when he seen her in person, he said it like she was way bigger. And this one is 70 grams, and he's like like 49 50 something grams last time i weighed him he was 49 he's a little bit bigger now so i'm pretty sure he's like 50 i'll weigh him tonight if he's not over like the 50 gram limit uh i won't breed him with her until he gets over 
And yeah, and I'm just gonna show you my hype boy clips because she didn't have no camera time really, like the radar did. Some hype boy clips right there. Little pretty girl, 100% head raptor. Sorry, excuse the noise in the kitchen. It's my cousin. Okay, so yeah, YouTube, um, this is my, my, um, my incubator and stuff. So yeah, a lot of supplies. Another little tank right there. So yeah, if I when I get my stuff, and that's not my only heat mat. I have three heat mats over there. That's just the one that's visible right now. So yeah. Once I have my breeding group, they're gonna go in that tub. So I'm gonna have like three, like three females and one male up in that tub. So I just can't wait until I get my my rack. All right, bye YouTube, and that's how you trigger your ovulation. Please don't forget, you just leave them in the tank with her, or you can switch the tanks and put the male in the female tank and the female in the male's tank. And most likely she'll start ovulating. If that doesn't work, you can put them up in up in um, up. You can put them in a tank together for about a day. Please don't do it. Please don't try try it that way first. Please try the other way first. Try my, the first, the easier way, the most safest way first. Like I did, I tried the safest way first. Like a month ago, I tried the switching tanks. I had them in her in her tank for about. I had him, in, had him in her tank for about a month and her in his tank for about a month. So please try that way first. All right, bye, YouTube.